Well, I think most of the time you have two forwards, so just trying to be the defensive player out there and making sure you can um, try to create offense from the back end of things. So, um, yeah, it's been pretty unfortunate for us as a team. Let a lot of points slip, not just in overtime, but um, you know, before we even get there, we, we definitely need to close out those games. So, um, yeah, we worked on it a little bit today. We've talked a lot about it in the past week or so. So, um, yeah, it's definitely uh, something that we know we need to get better at. How does it change for you, though, personally? Because, I mean, you're counted on to generate offense at times. But I can imagine that you, you must have to hesitate a lot more at three-on-three three than you would in five-on-five, five, just knowing that turnovers can, can be disastrous. Yeah, I mean, all I'm worried about is not turning it over myself. I mean, um, I trust the forwards to make the right decisions and use their instincts. So, for me, it's taking the opportunities when it's there, when I have the puck. Um, like I said, trying to be that extra layer for them. Um, if I can try to help them break up plays and uh, turn the turn the plays the other way so um, it's definitely a very interesting dynamic when you're out there um, you're kind of just making a lot of uh, spur of the moment reads so um, yeah like I said it's it's somewhere where we need to get better um, including myself um, you know I think there's ways that we can deny these goals even when um, you know stuff doesn't go our way in the middle of the place what, what has made that such a good pairing? I think we complement each other really well out there. I think um, we understand um, our strengths and weaknesses um, as individuals and as a pairing. So um, I think communication has always been a big thing for me as a player. Um, he's someone that's easy to talk to um, you know, before games, during the games, uh, on the ice. So, um, yeah, I love playing with him. He's He's been a steady guy in this league for so long. Um, so I think, you know, just doing my part on the left side and knowing he's going to do his part on the right. So it's just a, a trust factor, and I think, um, you know, we've really gelled together and made a good dynamic on the back end. And you're more, a little more offensive than he is or yeah. offensive-minded. Does that, does that work a little bit that you know that you can jump in knowing that he's going to be back there? Yeah, I think he knows I like to have the puck, so um, he gives me it when I – when I demand it. Um, other than that, I think he, he's very instinctive too. He makes good reads offensively. I'm um, not afraid to jump in too. So um, I think more than anything, just trying to round my game defensively so I know that um, you know my partner can just do his thing out there and not worry about things so much on the back end. And do you guys get along off the ice? Is that part yeah. of the chemistry? Yeah, yeah, we're hang out or? yeah, we're good buddies. Um, I go for dinners together a lot on the road, things like that. So um, yeah, that, that I think that definitely helps. We. We understand our character on and off the ice. It's um, you know it's a long season. There's a lot of ups and downs. Um, you know we come to the rink every day, but that's not our whole life. You know there's a lot to it. Um, so I think just understanding family dynamics and things like that uh, it makes it a lot easier to have a deep partner like that. Is he funnier than he sometimes lets on? Yeah, yeah. I think he holds back from you guys a little bit. <laughs> He's a funny guy. All set. All right. Thanks. Thanks.